everyone and welcome back. So some time ago I had a request to show uh, a repot video um, or how to repot a cactus. Um, now honestly it's not something that I do a lot. Um, the cactus that I'm doing today uh, have been in their same pots now for ooh, I want to say at least five years. Um, it's not something I do often um, mostly because I don't believe that it needs to be done that often provided that you set things up correctly. Um, and I'll go through a little bit more detail about that uh, as we go through the video. Um, so this is one of the guys that I'll be repotting today. It is uh, Gymnocolysium carmenanthum, um, as you can see there. And this guy is completely busting out of this pot, um, and he has been for a long time. But look, he's still happy, he's still healthy. The discoloration that you see down here is just scarring or corking, um, which is to be expected for uh, cacti as they grow older. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually take him out of this um, pot and then I'll show you what that looks like. I've got a bucket over here, um, so that's where my waste uh, soil will be going. Now I actually reuse soil, um, but I have a very particular way of doing it. So. Um, I won't reuse the soil from this guy for this plant, I'll use it for another purpose. Um, and I basically, uh, just to cut it short, I started top tier, what I call top tier soil, which is this stuff here, which is all nice, fresh, new uh, material. And then um, the way in which I use it goes down on a sort of a graduating scale until it eventually will uh, be thrown out. Um, but I try and reuse as much as I can because depending on what I'm growing I can very easily uh, modify the soil mix um, just with a few ingredients to uh, to make it suitable rather than um, just going oh well I've used it once throw it out but anyways um, I might do a, a video on that at another another time so what I'll do to start with is just basically uh, massage the um, sides of the pot it's a bit tricky to get them out um, uh, I might turn the camera actually so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, and I'll just move my uh, plant. Right. Um, I'm just trying to find a spot where I can hold the plant. There we go. Um, and he's come out nice and easily. Beautiful, healthy root system as you can see, nice and white. Um, and what I do is I'll actually just start brushing this um, the soil or rocks away from the top. And what you'll find is that it'll just slowly cascade down. Um, I don't want to yank the soil off. I don't want to be too aggressive. Because I don't want to break too many roots. I'd like to keep them intact. Um, but I'd like to get all the old soil um, off. Now the, oil, the old soil mix um, is pretty much exactly the same as what I'm going to be repotting into today. Um, just the uh, new stuff's got some fresh organic matter in it. So if you to look at the, uh, the old soil, um, apart from the roots, you'll see virtually no uh, organic matter in that mix anymore. Um, it's just degraded away and over the years and there's just nothing left of it. All right, I'm just gonna scoot the camera back to um, this view over here. All right, and this is what we've got here. So, as you can see there, absolutely incredibly healthy, vibrant root system, um, nice and white, thick, plump. Um, it's, it is dry, completely dry. I haven't watered it in about a week, um, but that's what I want from my cacti is beautiful, healthy root systems like this. Now, you will have heard me say a number of times now that I'm not a fan of commercial nurseries and the soil mixes that they use. Um, and it's probably something I'll continue to say because it does irk me. Um, let me tell you now, this root system that you see here and how healthy and full it is, you will not see that from uh, commercial nurseries plants. Most of the time, you'd be lucky if they've got, you know, that amount of roots there because they're in such a rich mix that they don't need to actually go out, search for things and actually switch into survival mode. They become very lazy and they're very bloated plants and they're also susceptible to pests and diseases. Um, the way I grow is on the harder side um, and that is, well you can see here, I'm just going to mix up, but 
Uh, it's mostly rocks. Um, so in here we've got pumice, we've got um, big pieces of pumice as well. I actually was able to track some down, so I was happy about that. Um, we've got a smaller aggregate, which is um, rocks that are about this size. Uh, there's sand, um, there's core peat, and there's some potting soil, and that's pretty much it. But it's a nice, nice uh, mix, um, and it'll last a long time. So this is pretty much the same mix that I've got this in, and this massive plant survived in this tiny little pot for uh, a long time, and, and very happy and healthy as well, as you can see. Is, um, and that root system is what is what I'm after. I was reading, I think it was in the soil hexalog, um, that uh, something like 70 or 80 percent of the uh, uh, cactus is below the soil in terms of like the roots, that, um, and then the uh, other 20 or 30 percent is the, the bit above. So you want to make sure that this is right um, because this is what supports the plant um, and keeps it. Uh, you know, nice and happy and healthy. So anyways, I'll stop blabbering on and I'll show you how I, um, how I repot. So put him to the side. Now the pots that I'm using today are very different to what I usually use. Um, they're much deeper and I was having a talk with a friend of mine who's um, incredibly good at growing cactus. Um, hey Pete. Um, and we were talking about using, or he was saying that he uses deeper pots and he recommends using them as well because um, it can help mimic um, <clears throat> soil in the natural environment because uh, cacti will usually send roots very very deep down um, and a lot of them will have tap roots as well so this just helps to accommodate that um, and gives them a little bit more um, closer to the natural environment so um, I'm happy to use them and, and give them a go So what I'll do, and I don't know if I'll be able to capture it because it's a bit tricky, I wonder if I can go like that, um, is I want to try and fan the roots out um, so that they fill the pot evenly. You don't have to be too particular with it. Um, I just want to make sure that the roots are going out that way across. Alright, now I usually do this bit standing up, it's just how I do it. Um, so I want to line it up at the level that I want. I always underfill the pot so that when I put the soil in the, and the rocks fall onto the roots that they sort of pull them down a little bit as well. So that's how I'll do it. And then I'll just go like this, grab big handfuls, give it a little tap, come back on this side, and then once it's supporting itself, give it a good top up. That. And just keep filling it up. So the bigger pieces will fall and then you end up with the little crevices that you want to fill up. So you just keep dropping it on until you get the level that you're after. Um, make sure it's straight without harpooning yourself. Um, <clears throat> Gymnocolysium are probably one of the easier, apart from Astrophytum, uh, of repotting because <clears throat> they do have spikes but they're pretty easy to get around, like you can easily put your finger in there and then the same on the other side and, and without getting speared. Um, something like a ferro cactus is uh, a little bit trickier because they're very, very thorny. Now I don't want that guy as deep as he went, so all I'll do is just gently pull him up a little bit, tap, and then his new, um, he'll drop into the new level which is better. Um, now I'll always, if I have the option, or if I have to, if I have to decide, I would always plant um, too high rather than too low. Um, maybe other people have different opinions on that, um, but that's just how I do it. So I'd rather it be a little bit too high. Um, than too low down. All right, that's it there. And I'd just like to give it a good tap so all the little particles uh, fall down into the crevices, like that. And as you can see, these new pots, they actually really make the uh, plants look nice. I've already done a, a few others. Um, I'm going to repot, I think, probably yeah, 8 and 12 plants today. Um, but there you can see, all in his new home, nice and happy. Um, so I'll write the label up, pop the label in, um, and I'll maybe go through one more with you, and then uh, we'll call it a day. All right, I'm going to write the label up, but I'll do that off camera. See you in a second. And we're back again for the uh, second one, uh, or second one for the video, uh, sixth one for me. So another gym, I'm doing all gym rows today um, because these are the ones that, that need to be repotted the, the most. So it's uh, Gymnocolysium gibosum schomburgia. Um, again, this guy will have been in this pot for at least 
at least five years. Um, so very, very long time. He's got quite a little bit of scarring um, down here, as you can see. Um, but that's okay, he's still got a nice uh, top. <sighs> Probably see a bit better now. Um, still nice and happy and healthy. Uh, I picked this guy because he's got a little bit more, a bit more spine, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd try a challenging one on camera. <laughs> um, so again, I'm just going to massage the pot and try and release this guy. There we go. Ooh, wow. This guy's got an awesome root system. All right. Just gently cleaning off the, uh, the rocks as before. And I do this gently, you don't need to be rough unless they're extremely pot bound. Um, I was hoping that these would be a little bit more compact because then I'll show you how to uh, sort of detangle them and what roots to keep and what ones to get rid of. But um, unfortunately I can't see inside the pot so I picked these ones thinking that they would um, prove to be the trickiest but they've actually been extremely hassle free. Alright. Wow. Someone's been busy over the last five years. Sorry about the wind. I don't know what my obsession with filming on windy days is, but anyways. Here we go. Have a look at this. Look at all those big, beautiful, healthy roots. That's one healthy root system there. No doubt about it. No discoloration, um, no mushy ones, no super dry brittle ones, like these are all really really uh, healthy and that's what you want. This is, the, this is the goal, to have a beautiful healthy root system like that, yeah? Alrighty, pop him down there, grab this, soil. Now with this soil mix, I don't uh, I don't poke down or anything like that. I do that more with uh, richer mixes, so mixes that have got more organic matter. I'll pack it in like that, but for the rocks, I don't. I just do it like that. Um, I pre-wrote the label for this guy, so I'll pop that in there. And doesn't that look much better? All right, so that's it for today, guys. I'll show you a quick look at the finished product. Um, if you have any questions, uh, definitely do leave me a comment below. Remember, you can support me on Patreon, which is at www.patreon forward slash 87 Walker. Um, and also check out my uh, Facebook page where I post photos and whatnot. And also, if you wanted to chat with me, um, I've always got my phone with me like everybody else, so you can always drop me a line. Um, and uh, can answer any questions. It's a bit quicker than me having to jump onto the computer um, and go through to the uh, YouTube comments and whatnot. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and as always, happy gardening. Bye!